Um, so I've got a Wacom One tablet, uh, which you're seeing here in Corel Painter. Um, but the pen that comes with the Wacom One just has one button on the pen. And it's usually used to, to do a display toggle so that I can switch back and forth between my main display and this Wacom tablet. Um, or at least uh, that's the default. Um, and I'm, I used to use other graphics tablets, Wacom tablets, but not the display kind, just the, you know, the, this, like an Intuos Pro. And um, it, there were a lot more options on the pens. And I got used to these radial menus that I could pull up by clicking a button and per application and being able to select a variety of commands. And it, it seemed like that was just not going to be an option for me or I'd have to be go grabbing the mouse every time I needed to actually do something in the other window or the other computer uh, display, etc. So I found a solution here. So right now um, you can see, you know, I'm, I'm on the walk. I'm with my pen. Um, I'm going to click the button and now I'm on the other monitor um, and I couldn't figure out how to record both monitors at the same time, but at any rate, um, I'm on the other monitor and let's say I had Photoshop open there and I'd like to have a radio menu for my uh, button on my Wacom One pen. Well, again, not an option because I've got to use it to switch back here if I need to switch back or switch back to the Wacom One. So I'll press the button. Now I'm back in Wacom One. Um, so my solution is uh, if you open up the Wacom Center okay so if we create a new panel a new grid panel and let's just um, call it display toggle make it a single column hit apply and then here it is now all these are disabled so they don't they won't even show up but if we change this one to um and let's see well we'll figure out the size you you can change the size of the icon depending on which display you're putting it on um and we're going to let's see i'm going to rename this so that it's this is going to be that's going to be on the the one on the walk Wacom tablet um, and then I'm going to duplicate this and then this one is going to be I have an Asus monitor so I'm just going to call it and I make them all caps because it makes it easier to read Asus toggle and they're both display toggles so I'm going to uh, launch the one toggle and so here it is I'm going to put it up here I want to make it a little smaller let's see and on the Asus one I didn't mean to make it smaller And I'm going to launch it. And I'm going to drag it with my mouse onto my other display. I want to pin these buttons to the display with the little push button pin on the icon. Okay.
so now what I'm looking at here is is I've got my my two toggle buttons now that means that I can now go into my pen settings which always show up on the screen I don't want it to and for example um, all other I can make it a right click um, in painter I no longer want a display toggle I want it a radial menu which I have here already set up radial painter and then so for uh, Photoshop I'd have one let's see here Well, let's, I haven't made one for Photoshop yet, but let's just say Photoshop drawing or rather, um, radial Photoshop. I do have one. Okay. So now, um, I close that and that, and now when I write, when I click my button, I've got my, I've got all my handy commands I want for painter. So, you know, if I want to erase that line I drew earlier, you know, I can just go about like that and then right back to my brush, um, undo all these handy things. But I didn't think I could do that because of this whole display toggle. Issue. So now I hit this display toggle, boom, my, my, now my cursor's on the other screen. Let's say I'm in Photoshop. Um, it's going to have my Photoshop radial menu available, but also on the other screen, um, just like we have on this one, the display toggle button, you put it somewhere on your monitor um, and you just click on that display toggle button and boom, here I am back in uh, Painter. So that's my solution to being able to use the Wacom One Pen with radial menus and to also be able to switch back and forth between displays.